everybody, this is Vince from Full Flare Productions. Anyway, this is how to make your own wireless printer. What you'll need is a wireless router, a couple computers that aren't connected to the printer, and one computer that stays connected to the printer at all times. I recommend a desktop for the ones that stays connected to it at all times. Make sure that all the computers are within the wireless router range, and this will work. First of all, for the computer that you want to, that's already installed with the printer. Make sure it's installed with that printer. Go to uh, your network and sharing center. Then click uh, turn on printer sharing and apply. Next, you need to make sure that your media sharing is enabled for all computers. This step takes several times because you have to go to each computer, click on that computer, and then click allow for that one. Uh, another way to know about media sharing is go to Windows Media Player, click on library, then click allow. Find the computer on this list, like other user computers, allow, apply, and OK. After your network sharing has been enabled and your printer sharing has been enabled, printer sharing has to be for all computers. Mine doesn't have a concern, it doesn't have a printer installed. Next what you'll need to do is go to your control panel. Actually, I'm sorry, I skipped a step. Actually, the next thing you'll have to go to is network on your start menu. Now, this one's a little bit difficult. Uh, you need to go to the computer that has the printer installed. This line would have to be this one. Oh, and I forgot to mention, since I've already registered it, um, when you double click on the printer, if you have not accessed it before, or you turned off your computer, and then you turned it back on, then try to access it, a uh, password and username will come up. The username is whatever you see the name is right now, that PC. The password, that computer has to have a password. I'm sorry, but it does have to have it. If it doesn't, it, this thing does not work at all. The other computers don't need them, but your computer that has the printer has to have a password. After you've already uh, double-clicked it and uh, put in the password and everything, you should come up to this. I don't recommend using this with window with uh, printers that are from 2004 and down. 2005 and up should work with those printers. Next, you'll need to click it, right-click it, then click Connect. It will take several more seconds than what you saw uh, to connect it. Once when it's connected, get out of here. Go to Control Panel, then click on Printers. Now you see two printers that will come up: Windows XPS Documents, which is not really a printer, and then you also have uh, HP PS. C750. Um, it'll say on which computer it is, and it'll have this little space bar right around here where my cursor's at, saying that it's a network printer. You need to right click it, then click set as default printer. After that's done, then you're ready to go. Just print off whatever you want. But you will have to repeat these steps. Uh, you will have to repeat the network step, I'm sorry. Every time you turn off this computer or the computer that has the printer installed, you need to go back to your network, wait for the computer to come up, it has to be this icon, not these because these are media sharing, you'll just open up your Windows Media Player, right, uh, open it up, and more like you'll have to do the whole password thing again, and then make sure you connect it, and then you're all ready to go. Uh, sometimes you won't have to repeat this step. Sometimes when that computer is on, it will just work just fine. But that computer that has the printer, that computer has to be on, otherwise this doesn't work whatsoever. Anyway, it's relatively easy. Just follow those steps I've showed you, and you'll have your own wireless printer. And thank you for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you all in another one of my videos.